How's hanging out with your family, Jammo? <laughs> I've never had a massage. Well, <sighs> dude, I've spent like 95% of my life just laying down. Like literally just laying down. And for the past few months, like ever since I quit smoking, I started like exercising. I started going for 10 kilometer walks every day. I started eating healthier. I started like actually sitting up. I started trying to correct my posture. So my body's like, what the fuck are you doing? So I'm in tons of fucking pain. So this was my third session with the dude in like a month and a half. I get I get one every two weeks. And uh, he told me that a few days ago on my third one, that for the first time he was able to actually like, my muscles let him get to the deep tissue because usually they just have an intense amount of pushback and stuff. Like I fucked myself by being the laziest cunt who ever lived. And like, it feels amazing. Like I walk in there, I feel horrible. And then he, he's like a registered massage therapist, so he'll like, he'll like push your arm down and like pull your neck and stuff. He does like weird chiropractic moves and stuff too, but like, he'll start fucking with my back and he'll find out like, he'll be like, oh, this is the part that fucking sucks right now, eh? And I'm like, yeah, dude. And then he'll like, I don't even know how to explain how he does it, but I feel really good when it's done. Damn, man, good for you. I try to do 10K a day, but motivation's difficult sometimes. I just fucking... I'll go on my Spotify or whatever and I'll just pick like a playlist. I'll be like, uh, new punk tracks and none of it's punk rock, but like, yeah, it gets me around the block several times or up a few hills or I'll throw on like a podcast or some shit. Like Joe Rogan will talk to Tom DeLonge from Blink-182 about robot or fucking UFOs coming down or some shit. So I'll just throw that on for like two hours and just wander around. Like if you have some shit in your ear that's like interesting, it really helps you, like, walk around, you know? And I say hi to everybody I meet. Like, anybody that walks by me, I, like, look at them like an idiot, get a big smile, I'm like, hello, how are you today? You know what I mean? Like, trying to be fucking normal. It's just nice to feel the breeze and, like, wander around, get fresh air, like, look at the trees, feel the rain. Stub your toe. The intern looks like a fucking weirdo. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Hashtag COVID. Yeah, I gotta go get my second fucking vaccine or whatever in like two weeks. I'm kinda nervous. Like, I don't wanna get really fucking sick. Like, most people who get sick get sick on their second shot. And I just feel like I got bad luck, so fucking... I'm expecting it's gonna feel like fucking cancer for like a week. The second was way better for you, okay. Yeah, the first one, dude, they like gave me the injection at like one in the afternoon. That night, my arm felt a little sore. When I woke up, it like hurt. It wasn't bad, bad, but it hurt. And then the next day, I was, like, slapping it and shit. It felt like nothing. But Melissa's arm hurt. Uh, my girlfriend's arm hurt for, like, four days. But neither of us got, like, sick or anything. What happened with you? suck yeah that's how it was for us too sore arm and that's it second shot hurt for less time I think just best to keep it moving yeah don't let it I basically just laid here fucking playing shoot em ups the whole day Melissa had to work seize up okay yeah I just kind of like laid back and did fucking nothing the whole day in case it uh yeah yeah I noticed it gets cut off sometimes yeah, I just laid here and let it fucking just be limp, just gamed. Melissa, she had to go to work. So I'm wondering if, like, her having to work and shit and, like, having to tense up over and over and over is what made it fucking last longer than it was supposed to. Because mine was, like, literally just bad for, like, a day. And it wasn't even, like, that bad. 
I was expecting like a week of shit. So like on day two and day three, I even just laid here and didn't do my walking. I didn't do anything like. How long have you and Melissa been together? I haven't met her or know much about her. Um, we've been together for like eight years. Eight, I think, yeah. It's been fucking forever, dude. She went to high school with us, man. But she was like a lot younger than us. Not many people remember her. Jesus, where have I been? Yeah, dude, I know, right? Yeah, we've all been fucking, like, away from each other for, like, a decade or more. It's crazy. Life just goes so fast. Yeah, really, dude. She, she went to fucking ERS with us. Even Alex is just like, oh, so, like, where'd you guys meet? I'm like, dude, she was, like, both of our neighbors for, like, 15 years. Damn, how old is she? Uh, 27? You know, the suicide age. I feel like I can whip these candles, you know? Oh man, I should play some fucking Super Castlevania 4. Last name? I don't remember her. Um, it went by Visser in school for some reason, but it's actually Quinn. Her sister was Chloe. The one that's like, that was like half retarded or whatever. What the hell? I just broke that candle, but I can't break the other candles. That's weird. Oh shit. Fuck. Just like that, eh? Why can't I break that candle but not the other ones? That's kind of weird. Damn, crazy. Did she move there with you or were you guys both there ironically? Uh, I was living in Calgary and then uh, my grandma got really sick, so I decided to come take care of her. And then I just started talking to her online because I thought she was hot and then, yeah. One thing led to another and I just kept going down and visiting her and shit and Sam and Arm. And... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I eventually just like, I'm like, hey, you want to come fucking move here or whatever? And she's just like, yeah, sure, why not? And then did it, and yeah. That's the end of that story. I remember waiting in the fucking car for you two. Yeah, I remember that too, dude. I'm like, man, I'll only be a minute. Oh yeah, fuck, you were there when she moved here. Damn, that's like no engagement yet? Cole knows my shoulder to cry on. No, we're, we don't really care about marriage or anything. I mean, if we're gonna be together, we're gonna be together, right? Like, not to like knock people who do want to get married or anything. I just, me and her don't really see the point of it. Like, yeah. You guys are getting married though, eh? Like, when's the wedding? Have you guys made a plan for it yet? Oh boy. Uh, we're probably just gonna elope. She just wants my last name. Erickson? Why, what's wrong with her last name? Yeah, I know what you mean, man. People are always just like, fuck, I want your last name. Dutton? Oh, okay, yeah, I get that. Dutton? Yeah. And the Ericksons are fire? Oh, okay. People always like the name Bomba. They're like, it sounds Jamaican. I wish I had fucking last name Bomba. I'm like, you can have it if you want it. Just let me just fucking rip it off and you can have it. I think that's how it works. What the fuck? Uh... Is there a fake wall? I feel like I was looking for a switch. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, I already had the fucking thing. Kids? No, definitely not, dude. I mean, maybe in like five or ten years or something, like, if we're- Whoa, what the fuck? If we're, fuck everything! If we're still alive in like five or ten years and we both like want to stay alive, then like maybe, you know? What about you, man? Are you guys planning on having children? Ah, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Please be the end of the fucking level already. Up or down? Definitely up. I want some more shit. Oop. Ow. They give you so much money. If the five fills your heart up all the way, why would you even try and get a ten? I bought it just because I was like, oh, well, maybe it'll extend my health bar. Yeah, probably in the next year or so. Lexi doesn't want me to be 50 when our kid is like 10. Okay, yeah, I get it. So you want to have children, eh? It's like reverse Zelda. Here you get an ass ton of money and everything is cheap. Yeah, basically. Hashtag old. So you're looking forward to being a dad, eh? Zelda, you get little ruples and everything's expensive. I just get like this periodic fucking stab in the side of my fucking ribs, like... Ow, that hurt. I'm just sitting here minding my own business, my body's just like... Here, here's intense pain. And I'm different, scared it'll be a girl in this society of social media bullshit. Oh yeah, I guess. Plus, I mean, people seem so much more disconnected nowadays than they used to be, you know? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's a shitty- yeah, you gotta worry about that. Once your kid's like fucking 13, you're just like, fuck, is she sending nudes? Like, I don't really want people to be looking at her tits yet, you know? That'd be a really fucking weird feeling to have, you know, being a dad with a daughter. Because you know that, like, there's gonna be tons of fucking teenage boys and even people in their 20s, like, trying to pressure her into doing fucking shit. Like, you're gonna know that. Like, every time they leave the house, you're like, what the fuck's gonna go on, you know? Chastity belt, she can't date until she's 20. Yeah. Fuck, what time is it, man? I wanna play another game before. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I already got everything. If I'm sending nudes of myself on Snapchat to my friends, you can bet your ass girls are doing the same. I got so many boob pics from chicks. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, what chick doesn't send nudes, right? I mean, you'd have to be naive to be a dad and think that your kid isn't fucking doing that. Like... It's gotta be a pretty uncomfortable thought. Oh, look, a tremor. Fuck! Social media is a cesspool. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck, I need some life. Plus, then if you get a kid and it ends up like listening to mumble rap and it just like punches you in the back of the head when you're trying to drink coffee, like that's like a whole other set of fucking problems to deal with, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? What? 
Okay. What the hell is with this Metroid fucking? Okay. It's like a xenomorph egg. Almost. Fuck off. This game is not ending, eh? I really wanted to get through two games while Melissa was at work. I want to make like a poll or something on my page somehow. Where I could list like, are you going to get Metroid Dread? Yeah, dude, I already bought it. I'm waiting for it, obviously, but yeah, I bought it. I want to make like a poll on my page or some shit. And just have like five games listed and then just have you guys like vote on which one I should fucking play next, you know? That way I don't have to sit here and just like humming and hawing about it. Ah, that blue thing again. It's one of them flaming bags again. Uh-oh, okay. I've been trying to find the special edition, but no luck, haha. Oh, you want the special edition of the new Metroid? Oh, fuck, I just reset. Steam Sackboy with Mel Gibson again as the star cameo. Yeah, dude. But uh, today we're gonna be doing Crash Team Racing again. And then tomorrow we'll be Sackboy again, you know, like change it up a bit. Poggers. Dude, I still got my pogs. create polls on Twitch here or on your Facebook page. I can create polls on Twitch. Oh, okay. Fuck. That's good to know. So you guys can just, like, watch a trailer of, like, my three or five options or whatever and be like, oh, I want to see him fucking rip his pubes out to this game or that game, you know? You might be able to through your phone. Yeah, cause now that I'm doing this, so many fucking games like I don't know how to choose like what to fucking do or play like like do I want to play Street Fighter 2 or do I want to fucking play an old school shoot 'em up like what the fuck was that bullshit spear yeah no doubt man it is glitched eh that's happened a few times like that witch that got stuck in the fucking wall being a video game tester would be cool for like smaller companies like this yeah, I was thinking about streaming some Resident Evil because I own like all of them on the PS4 and PS5. But then I'm like, I don't want to fucking talk through the whole goddamn thing. I like having the volume up high when it's dark out, you know? And like, getting all freaked out and you gotta pay attention and try and memorize which doors you haven't unlocked and which ones you have yet when you pick up a new key and blah 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 blah. Like, it seems hard to have a whole bunch of conversations at once while fucking doing that. Oh, what the hell? Dude, check it out. Invisible platform. People like watching people get jump scared? Oh yeah, I guess, but I don't really get jump scared. Melissa does, that's why I usually play like horror games with her. Standing on air? Yeah, no doubt. See, Melissa like, she'll fucking like squeal and shit, you know, like. It makes it so much more interesting. So I'll just be playing and I'll just be going on around my business or whatever, doing whatever the fuck. And then someone will jump out and I'll just be like, eh, and she'll fucking scream like a dying eagle. That's what we need. Yeah, pretty much. But then like having the chat going is going to fuck that all up, right? Like, because we'll have to be like responding to people and shit and it'll just take us out of the moody atmosphere. Like, most horror games, like especially survival horror games, will have like a certain atmosphere that you want to be feeling as you're playing through it, right? And if you're stopping to talk about penises every 10 seconds, like, it's just, it just pulls you out of the mood, you know? You don't have to respond to people, we can just watch it like it's a YouTube video. Yeah, I guess that is an option too. Remember when you tricked Sorgan to come over to Bang Mail and he got so embarrassed he never came back? Oh, dude, tell, uh... You should tell Kiefer about that story, that's really funny. I'll be right back, guys.
I'm black. You look like the guy that comments on some dude's girl's pics saying roar. Really? What year is this? Do I have the key? Fuck, I don't have the key. Did you explain the story or whatever? Fucking Steven. Hey man, 2006 was awesome. It sure was. I'd fucking kill to be 16 again, man. Keeper, I remember having a shower at your place, and we're like listening to Hello Goodbye, and it was like really sunny out. Just good vibes. You like brought in some music for me, you're just like, here, this is Hello Goodbye, and then you fucking, dude, yes, best vibes, yeah, pretty much. I didn't even notice the fucking cat behind me. Ah. And you felt his gentle kiss on your neck and the soft hands caressing your crotch? Sure did. He was a big fan of caressing my crotch. I got him drunk for the first time and he got all fucking giggly. Like really giggly. Crusting it. <laughs> In crust we trust. Getting cold and drunk with a ball. Yeah, I remember those days. Like, hey, Colton, you want a drink? Yes, yes, I do. That was a weird, like, year. God, I've never been drunk or high, and you popped my cherry, and I was just stupid and oblivious. That was a lot of fun. You were in safe hands. I wasn't gonna let you kill anybody. I remember coming by like a little while later with like another bottle, and I was gonna see if you wanted a drink, but like you were hanging out with Chase, and you guys were like playing a hockey game or some shit. I was like. Yeah, I remember sitting there for like 10 minutes or some shit, and I'm like, I gotta go. Like, the total opposite vibe of what I was looking for. Never smoked again after being so frustrated that I couldn't remember stories. Huh. Something just blew up. Okay, I guess I opened a door somehow. Oh, never mind. Where's the switch? Oh, you can't kill that worm? You know what boggles my mind is giving birth to a human and naming him Chase? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> no doubt. That was fantastic. <laughs> Fuck. That's so funny. <laughs> Ow. What the hell am I doing? Can I just... Okay. Ta-da! Are oh, you again? It's you, McMuffin. I was here about Chase, but I don't think I've ever met the lad. Like nine feet tall, ten pounds. Had flippy hair. Ow. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember when we were all doing mushrooms and shit when on our fucking sickness trip with stupid sexy stew, we ran into Kiefer. I don't and Colton. I don't think Chase was there. Yeah, we were the dynamic duo back in the day. Yeah. Doesn't ring a bell, I remember Kiefer. OMG Stu Lemieux. I fucking messaged Stu the other day. I'm like, hey man, how's it going? He's just like, I am so happy. I'm doing rebar. I didn't really have anything to say to that except, well, I'm really happy that you're happy, Stu. I'm like, is that the answer to happiness? A rebar? Colton and Kiefer with their stupid sexy haircuts. Yeah. Haircuts don't mean shit if you're not doing a rebar. Ah. What the hell is up here? Twaja. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Level complete. What the fuck? That noise almost gave me a fucking aneurysm. Oh, shit. I wish there was a way for me to stream Earthworm Jim on the Sega CD. The game's fucking amazing. Uh-oh. Capture card. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna have to look into that crap. Or just get Colton to do it. And then show off. He'll just show up naked, get everything installed. Yeah, pretty much. I've already got a retro pie, man. Uh oh. I got a retro pie, but Colton didn't really configure it properly. None of the PS1 games work, the N64 doesn't work, the Dreamcast doesn't work. Like, all the shit that works on it is like the 8 and 16 bit shit. But that's like a really, 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 really easy shit to get running, right? That's not what I bought it for. I wanted to go through like obscure Japanese PS1 games and like shit like that. Like I sold all my Sega CD and Sega Saturn and Sega Dreamcast games so that I could get them on a RetroPie. And this thing doesn't have any of them on it. Ah. Uh. I want to, like, fuck around with it at some point and get everything on there that I want to, but I'll have to do a lot of research, and I'm sure it'll take me quite a while, because I'm fucking useless when it comes to technology. But it'll be so worth it when it's done. Ah, fuck off. Oh, no. Fuck! I thought that thing was gonna run. Right, boob? <laughs> Fucking hell, it's almost two already? This game does not end, eh? What should I play next, you guys? There's a Linux distro you can use for all that with a console. Whoa, what the fuck? Why the fuck didn't that work? You I just cycle through it all, I'm sure Clinton would know the name of it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck happens if I run out of spears? Ah, oh, there we go. Never mind. Ow! There we go. Oh, fuck me. 
Oh boy. Well, on the bright side, when Melissa gets off work or whatever the fuck, she'll probably want to stream some Crash Team Racing around four. I had it before, but I couldn't figure out how to get games on it. I'm not some nerdy hippie that knows Linux. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> ah. Fuck you. Yeah, not what I'm looking for, you dink. Uh-ohs. Pretty fucking close to pantsing my poop right now. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking webs, man. It does look like a dink. Fuck. I didn't see those green webs. Oh, for the love of Pete. You know what blows my mind? That there aren't, there isn't a, like a Winnie the Pooh game on the Super Nintendo or something, you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't that have been a perfect fit? Collecting jars of honey and shit like that. You can play as Tigger, he's the bouncy guy, like switch the characters back and forth. Like, I was thinking about that the other day when I was watching Winnie the Pooh, I'm like, how the fuck did they not make this into a game back then? In like the Aladdin style? <laughs> I recently just beat all the Aladdin games or whatever. I got a compilation of Aladdin and Lion King games on the PS4. This shit's a little maddening. Just a little. But I managed to do it. I remember when you used to bounce on my dick harder than Tigger. Is that a Hallmark card? Where did I die here? I feel like I'm gonna die any minute. Holy fuck, never mind. Level complete. Act five? Jesus Christ. You guys ever play Hatsune Miku? Terrifying noise. I fucking love Hatsune Miku. I want to go to one of her concerts. Yeah, dude, that'd be hilarious. What the fuck do I do here? She was actually going to come to Vancouver on in uh, April of 2020, but then you know, COVID hit. What the hell? Oh, I don't have any spears. I'm like pressing triangle trying to fucking make myself a platform. How the hell am I supposed to get through this then without a fucking spear? Okay. Fucking COVID ruin all our weep dreams. Pretty much. I really wanted to go see the circle jerks. Those guys are like fucking 60 years old. They're not gonna be around much longer. And uh, dwarves were coming too. The dwarves are fantastic. Uh, my ex broke up with me after I bought dwarves tickets in Calgary. And that weekend, Colton paid for a Greyhound for me to come out and like mope around with him for a while, so I missed the concert there. Apparently they got naked on stage and they got banned for life. Yeah, I had a bunch of concerts lined up, dude. I was scoping it all out, like January and February, like planning out the year of concerts and uh, yeah, then in March, boom. This shit all fucking happened. Melissa's never been to a fucking zoo or seen a giraffe or an elephant or a fucking anything, so I was gonna take her to the Surrey Zoo. Or Langley Zoo? I don't remember. Oh, wow. Okay. No spears. What the fuck, life? Holy shit. It's that thing from Shovel Knight. Plague something? Ow. 
Ow, ow. Sounds like a rape. Dude, I seriously don't have any, uh... I really need some spears. Oh, now I have spears. What the fuck, life? Okay. Ta-da! So you using your console to stream games to Twitch? Yeah, man. Sure am. I blew like fifty thousand dollars on PlayStation Four and Five games, so might as well get my fucking monies out of it, right? Ah. But nope. There's like literally no point in me emulating anymore. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm hoping the prices just go up and up and up and up, too, like every other console. Like, in 15 years from now, when the PS4 is considered retro, I could just sell this all for more than 50 grand. Buy a fucking house. But my luck, it'll burn down that day. If I can find Chrono Trigger on the PS Store and get it on the PS5, I'll be in heaven. Chrono Trigger. You can get a, like, the Final Fantasy Anthology on... Where are you gonna buy a house? Well, I mean, if I could pick and choose a place in British Columbia, I'd pick, uh... What's that place called? Squamish. You know, it's got rivers and freshwater lakes, it's right on the ocean, there's lots of hiking and trees, and it's beautiful, and it's also, like, 20 minutes from fucking Vancouver, if you need to go to Vancouver, like... It's literally the perfect location, no matter who you are. Cash Creek, yeah. Yeah, I want to move to Lytton. And it sounds funny, so that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, what on earth? This is not very swaggy. Look at that shit. Moving with the Gallop pose? <laughs> yeah. I actually just sold a fuck ton of my old uh, Pokemon cards to Robbie like two months ago. So I had a bunch from like the base set, the second set, fossil set, jungle set. Like all those beginning sets I had like since I was a fucking youngin, right? So they've just been sitting in my closet. And all of a sudden somebody's like told me like Pokemon cards are through the roof nowadays. So I checked up the prices, and I'm like, holy fuck, all right, guess I'm selling all that. It's weird, you look at Robbie's brother, you'd swear he's the one who's adopted. Hope he didn't scam you out of a first-gen Charizard. Yeah. Dude, I traded my fucking Charizard to, like, what's his name? Uh, Jesse Scrimbit, when I was, like, ten, for his Doug Trio. Yeah, you let that sink in. Dude, there's no way down. You see that? The block fell off. Now I'm fucked. I'm supposed to push it down here, stand on it. It's probably because it looks like three penises. <laughs> yeah. You caught me. Are you kidding me? Oh no. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab a bowl of cereal and then I'm gonna find another ga game to pop in. So I'm gonna start a new game in like 15, 20 minutes-ish. Bobbler's Palace of Love, how may I spank you? Uh-oh. Yeah, this game has no end in sight and I wanna have a bunch of games on my fucking channel right away, you know? Don't you have to get Mel around then? And I'll have like 45, 50 minutes. 45, 50 minutes. So I could, I could go through a short game like Awesome P or... Yeah, I got a bunch of like Super Mario 3 clones that'll go by stupid fast. I just don't remember this game being so fucking long. Whoa, that was weird. The physics in that jump was totally fucked up. I guess I could stream that goddamn super monkey ball that came out. Like, banana 
splits or whatever the fuck. The game sucks ass and it makes me so mad, but it'd be more tolerable if I had you guys laughing at me and fucking being on edge and shit every time I do something. Like, that fucking, I just loathe playing that goddamn game by myself. I gotta rather shove a fucking candle in my dick than play that fucking game ever again. But if you guys are wanting to be entertained, I'd pop it in sometime. Sounds like a later game when the boys are back. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright. I'll be back in like 15 or 20 minutes and then... I'll just message you guys on Facebook or whatever the fuck. I'll find a game and pop it in and start up uh, another stream. Oh yeah, up here. This is the easy route, and I was taking the hard one. Oh, it's just money. Money I can't spend because there's nothing to buy. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. He said that five minutes ago.